Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So the markets are hitting an all-time high and you might be sitting on profits on some of the stocks. For example, I am personally sitting on 100% plus profits on stocks like Angel One, Meta and a bunch of other stocks like Ujjeevan Small Finance I sold at through close to 100% profits. PNB I am sitting on 100% profits. Bunch of stocks where I have made close to 100% profits and I am still holding like a greedy person because I am thinking, you know what? और बढ़ गया तो बड़ा दुख होगा राइट देन व्हाट्स द पॉइंट ऑफ सेलिंग इट तो थोड़ा और होल्ड कर लेते हैं बट इज दैट द राइट स्ट्रेटजी नाउ सम ऑफ यू माइट बी सेलिंग ऑन 10 20 30 40 100 200 परसेंट प्रॉफिट्स ऑन सम ऑफ दी स्टॉक्स शुड यू बी सेलिंग इट सो दैट्स पार्ट ए पार्ट बी इज दैट सम ऑफ यू माइट बी होल्डिंग सम लॉस मेकिंग स्टॉक्स एंड यू माइट बी थिंकिंग कि यार इसमें तो लॉस हमें 40 50 परसेंट था नाउ एटलीस्ट लॉस कम हो गया बिकॉज द मार्केट्स हैव गॉन अप सो एग्जिट करके निकल जाए दीज बैड बैड स्टॉक्स सो वॉट इज इट दैट यू शुड बी डूइंग वॉट इज इट दैट आई एम डूइंग दैट इज द कॉमेंट्री दैट आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर ऑन दिस वीडियो ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट देर आर मेजर माइक्रो चेंजेस दैट आर हैपनिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू मेजर changes that are happening is that number one the recession news is coming to the table and if you scan through some of the newspapers you will have a heart attack so i'm just pasting some of this stuff here so you'll see ki bhai sahab kai logon ne predict kar diya that the market is going to drop by 61% and five recession indicators have come into the market doishe bank ne ye keh diya hai falana dimka bank has said that it is you know what it is just going to correct from this point recession is coming into the news and it stocks are going to correct this that सो रिसेशन की न्यूज भी आ रही है मार्केट्स आर ऑल्सो हिटिंग एन ऑल टाइम हाई वी आर सेटिंग ऑन प्रॉफिट्स ऑन सम ऑफ दिस स्टॉक सो यू विल बी वेरी वेरी टेम्पटेड टू सेल योर स्टॉक्स गो अवे एंड देन मेक द प्रोडिक्शन की एक बार गिर गया मार्केट तब री एंटर कर लेंगे नाउ वॉज आई एबल टू प्रिडिक्ट करेक्टली वॉट इज गोइंग ऑन इन योर हेड इफ द आंसर इज येस देन डू प्रेस द लाइक बटन एंड वी विल किक स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो नाउ आई नो दट यू हैवेंट प्रेस द लाइक बटन सो अगेन हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट दट डू प्रेस द लाइक बटन इट वुड अलाउ दीज टाइप ऑफ वीडियो रीच आउट टू मोर पीपल सो विद दट सेड लेट इस जम्प राइट इन टू द टॉपिक एंड देर आर थ्री सेंट्रल क्वेश्चन दट आई एम गोइंग टू आंसर on this video and we'll share a very very interesting very insightful strategy with all of you which is a zero loss strategy for me and i'll explain it to you it's a wonderful strategy i will plug it along somewhere in the video now three questions that i'm going to answer are that number one should you sell in this market number two what is it that you could consider selling in this market and third and finally how much or what quantity of stocks you should be selling or mutual funds you should be selling so this is a practical insightful conversation that i will have with you very very practically driven because main apna khud ka paisa lagata hu khud ka paisa manage karta hu so i get that practical understanding in terms of managing to whether you should be selling in this market or not and there are good reasons to sell stuff and there are very bad reasons to sell stuff so i will cover both these points so okay so let me first cover what are some of the bad reasons to sell stocks because ye bahut jaldi fatafat cover ho jayega so i'll cover this first see bad reasons of selling a stock is very simple that you are setting on like 20 10% profit or 20% profit or 30% profit or x% profit on a stock aap bhai sahab 5 so percent profit 500 percent profit also if you are sitting that's not a good enough reason to be selling that stock warren buffett has rightly said that many people cut their flowers and continue to water their weed so ne thodi si esoteric definition bata di thi now what is the meaning of esoteric let me know that is the word of the day but sitting on x percent profit y percent profit does not make an iota of a difference because let's say that you know what angel one right now i am sitting on 100 percent profit and you can see it from here so angel one let's say that i had bought it here now i am sitting on 100 percent profit here bhai if the fundamentals tell me technicals tell me my system tells me business analysis tells me ki bhai angel one from here from this point might go to this point right then there could be another 100% 200% profit on it you might have heard of the fact that multi bagger stocks hote hain for example titan must have gone like you know 400x or 500x or whatever x that is info says if you purchased it early it would have gone like you know 20x 50x whatever it is so from that perspective what i'm simply trying to tell you is that just because you are sitting on x% percent profit does not indicate that you should be selling that stock now opposite is also true that hey i am sitting on 30% loss on this stock and main isko bech ke nikal jaau because yaar aap kitna hi loss sahenge i have put some kind of a stop loss this that see guys you need to understand whether you are an investor or a trader aap pehle wo clarify kar lo if you are a trader then you look at more technical indicators aap apna stop loss lagao wagera wagera if you are an investor for example i am building an investor community i speak with investors i do not speak with traders per se according to me trading is a losing game right by the 90 95% logon ka paise nahi banta they are not even able to beat fd what's the point of trading so first clarify 
identify in your mind what is it that you are looking at right so just because you are sitting on 30 percent loss does not indicate that you should be selling that stock and going away for example one of the stocks that i hold right now is sbi cards i'm holding that at like you know seven eight percent loss something like that logon halla macha diya right ki ariana sbi cards is not moving this that bhai sab take a look at the fundamentals look at whether it's revenues profits are growing or not look at whether it's a high risk business look at whether the industry is growing or not then accordingly you know just because you're lit sitting on little bit of loss just don't sell it okay so this is the second bad reason third is that you act in fomo or greed abhi news aa gayi ki recession hone wala hai recession hone wala hai aapne 15 logon se sun liya ki recession hone wala hai recession hone wala hai kya ho gaya aapko panic ho gaya right so you have just simply panicked right now that's a very very bad reason to sell anything on panic buy anything on greed fomo regret all these are psychological principles that drive the stock market more than the understanding of finance per se so on that note please appreciate that you know what you will feel all these human emotions feeling made and emotions made don't make logical decisions so to say right please keep your heart and head separate that is a simple point i am speaking now these are very very important points now let me share practical insights on what are some good reasons of selling a stock now there are three good reasons why you should be selling a stock number one reason is that your technical target has been met or you have met a particular goal goal meeting ka matlab hota hai that for example you started investing in the stock market let's say in 2020 because you had to do an mba or start your mba in 2023 so uske liye aapne paise waise jode now you have built enough corpus the corpus is high and therefore you want to pull out money from the stock market and abhi acha chal raha hai stock market mutual fund whatever investments you have made and you are pulling money out of it so this is called as goal based investing and if that target is required to be met that paisa aayega kahan se varna you will have to give up on that mba seat whatever you have got so that is called as meeting the target and iske liye if you are selling the stock it makes sense now a related reason is that sometimes the technical targets are met for example if you go and watch my video around 4 5 6 months back i had done live nifty investing of 50 lakh rupees you can check the video here and us samay i said that you know nifty is at around 17000 and i see the target at 21500 now right now the markets have reached 21500 how did i arrive at that figure of 21500 well it was a technical target hame bata raha tha for example take a look at this this is a cup with handle pattern and if you put this depth and stick it here this is where the selling target comes so the selling target for nifty comes out to be roughly 21500 now if i am holding a lot of nifty 50 right now should i be selling it yes and no depending on a lot of other things but yeah, Yes, my technical target has been met, and I might sell some. Now, whether I be selling, not selling, all that stuff, I will discuss in my member community because it's a little advanced concept. So, I will definitely encourage all serious investors to consider joining my investment community. There is no strong buying or selling recommendations. Everything is taught fundamentally so that you can pick those fundamentals, education-related points, and customize it according to your portfolio. This is not a portfolio management service or selling and buying recommendation. None of that stuff. I teach core macroeconomics. economics finance technicals fundamentals all combined as per the current market dynamics i cannot make videos really fast on whatever market updates are there but i can definitely write like community oriented posts very very quickly so every day i write one to two posts which gives you absolute current updates whatever is happening in the economy for example today i wrote a post around recession so that was a very fast update now this video will be released like after one two days so that way you are able to retain most of the learning because you are relating everything what is currently happening in the market so definitely do consider joining it but i hope that you got the point that once the technical targets are met be it for a specific stock or nifty 50 or small cap mid cap this that then you could consider selling some or profit booking now the second good reason for selling stocks is that you are trying to balance or rebalance your portfolio so to say for example if i look at my portfolio personally speaking around year year and a half back it would have been around 50% in finance stocks right 50% finance stocks now my investment system tells me that you know what finance stocks are probably one of the best industries to be in in india right now i have discussed this logic multiple times but 20 second pitch there is bhai jitne bhi ameer log hain for example nitin kamath nikhil kamath ambani zadanis kisi ko bhi dekh lo right even pd light people they are getting all getting into finance space per se this is the one of the core spaces that is making money in india profitable hai from that perspective so what am i trying to do well i am trying to move to this high growth industry so over time right now i am roughly 70% finance and probably going forward i might be 80 85% finance stocks 
when it comes to my equity portfolio. So this is called as portfolio rebalancing. You have to do it as per the market circumstances. So in this respect, if I am selling some of my non-finance stocks, then it makes sense. Another category of rebalancing your portfolio would be aggressive versus defensive. For example, finance stocks are aggressive. Yaar, wo badenge to bahut badenge and girenge to bahut girenge. Now, if you are not an investor who is comfortable with that volatility, then you could consider buying more of defensive stocks. These would be FMCG type of stocks and all that stuff. Jiska regular business hota hai. So therefore, if you're rebalancing your portfolio in a certain type of market, then that is a good approach. Now comes point number three, that you need to have an investment system to which you stick. People adopt 500 different types of investment system. Ki bhai saan to IPO mein pel pel ke paisa lagayenge. On top of that, we'll buy like every type of trending stock. On top of that, we'll do like small cap, mid cap investing also heavily when the news is there. And on top of that, we will follow every political news and how it impacts the stock. And then we'll buy only those stocks. That's not an investment system. That's speculation. If you're constantly speculating, you do not have a system routine. You will not make money. And that is one of my core goals of trying to teach people investing. And that is what I do through my courses and member community that I help you build this investment system that makes sense for you. It's not as if that I'm coaching you that no, I will give you all the fodder points. Aap socho, samjho un sab ko and build your own investment system accordingly. So let me quickly explain some of the salient points of my investment system. So as I explained earlier that I would have high growth companies in my investment system, almost 70-80% of my portfolio will be there as of now. Of course, I can move it up and down as per the market dynamics. Second key point that I have a certain CAGR or compounded average growth rate target in mind. For example, I typically see that Nifty is giving 12%. So at least yeah, Mira portfolio, if I have to genuinely become rich, it should at least give me somewhere between 15 to 20%. And on top of that, I should not be sticking my eyes in front of my screen all day. I should have a system where I do not have to keep tracking my stock every single day and all that stuff, right? So that is a type of investment system I have. Third is that I am opportunistic. Opportunistic in the sense that, for example, if I see good opportunities in, let's say, real estate, or if I see good opportunities in terms of buying bonds, or if I see good opportunities in certain industries, I would rather shift my money there. So I am a macro investor. It means that you look at broad data so let me give you an example. So take a look at this particular graphic and you will see that the interest rates are peaking. Now what is the meaning of interest rates? Interest rate means that for example if you go now and do a fixed deposit you might be getting 7, 7.5% interest rate. Now go back one and a half years ago how much was the interest rate on FDs? You might be getting 6, 6.5%. Now this 1% difference might feel very minuscule but it is a lot, right? Now what does this tell you? It means that for example if you are looking to lock Lock your wealth for long term. Ki bhai, aapne ek tarike ka cushion banana hai ya opportunity fund banana hai. Then it's critical that you expose yourself to some safe investments. So whatever safe money, risk free money I need. Now what I've done is that I've locked that money in a combination of corporate bonds because bonds are less risky instrument. So yahan pe I can easily make somewhere between like 9 to 11 percent returns as long as I'm buying double A plus and triple B plus type of bonds. So I will be making nine to 11%, which is decent enough rate for me, but I will not continue to get this rate, right? Why? Because right now the interest rates are high, tabhi mil rahe. so you lock more money for a little bit of duration and be happy about it. For two, three years later, when this interest rate falls, right? Then it makes more sense to do less bond exposure. So this style of investing is called as macro investing that you must have a sense as to which asset class to go to. And if cutting down your equity position, building a little bit of cushion in in terms of your bond investing, that risk-free money that you're looking at. If that makes sense, if that is a part of your investment system, you could definitely consider doing it. Now comes the next point that when the risk reward of a particular stock does not make sense for you, you could possibly consider selling it. For example, I will give you the case study of Ujjivan Small Finance. So I feel that the stock was a little bit risky because most of its exposure is in microfinance loans and microfinance loans are extremely risky. These are not secured kind of loans. So for me, after having made a lot of profits in G1 small finance and the pace at which it moved, I thought that, you know what, yeah, let me lower my risk. So I rather moved that money into safer assets. For example, HDFC bank, yeah, Kotec bank, all that stuff, right? So that's one part. Second, if I do not see risk reward in terms of the growth prospects of the firm, then this would be a case study like Relaxo that I cut my entire position on a stock like Relaxo. 
true. Why? Because the growth prospects are limited. The company is trying to pivot. There is business uncertainty. कि भाई अभी तक वो low value products बनाते थे. Now they are trying to move to high value products. Not sure if they will be able to build it. How soon will they be able to build it? Lot of uncertainty. Similarly, I cut my entire Paytm position entirely, and I was lucky that I was able to make six seven percent returns on it. So I had done a community post here. You can check it here. And after that, the stock corrected or has already corrected by I think around twenty five thirty percent already. So now comes the second question as to what you should be selling. For example, I frequently get a question that our mutual fund ways ne, ya Nifty Fifty ways ne, small cap mid cap me bhot growth hoga. Should we sell like small cap mid cap? Now see, it depends on two basic things. The number one thing is the horizon that. You have horizon means that are you putting money in the market for one year, two year, three year, three months, two days, whatever it is. So that is horizon. That is the first key aspect, and I will explain it to you. And the second key aspect is that what is your overall thesis, investment thesis in the market? What is your overall strategy? So let me explain both these points by picking two different examples. So see, right now, for example, if you are holding Nifty Fifty, which is the asset that you hold, you have a clear understanding. You see, look, our top has become Nifty, ka, Nifty Fifty, ka, and it is likely that Nifty Fifty. is going to come back to this level at some point maybe it will happen that it will move like this then it will go right and then some day it is going to correct and you might get another buying opportunity somewhere here so now let's say that you had like 10 lakh rupee invested on nifty 50 it might make sense to cut some positions maybe like let's say 20% positions right you could cut right and then reinvest that money in terms of creating an opportunity fund right so opportunity fund means ki yaar jab crash hoga na then i am going to go and invest that money and then you can lock this money in let's say corporate fds now again i would recommend that you guys go and check incred money's platform it's a wonderful platform very well curated bonds that they have so you can go and lock this money so 2 lakhs ho gaye right now you lock it for 2 years right you are making like 9 10% returns on it and then when the market returns to this point ever you could consider plugging that now you might say ki yaar akshat is it a guarantee that the market will move like this right and fall like this no but we have to be prepared for any type of market usually it has seen that when all time high is made that point is retraced usually speaking especially if the growth is fast and i am not saying that pull all your money out that would be suicidal there is no point in pulling all your money out because aapko lagega that i will be able to guess the absolute bottom of the stock market and then i am going to buy everything here and then when the market becomes absolute high i will guess that also and sell everything here bhai everyone thinks that they are geniuses but it doesn't work that way now everyone makes mistakes so wo balancing game khelna padta hai that is what smart investing is you will never be able to guess the top of the market and bottom of the market you can not do that no one can apki tukke bazi ho gayi to maybe you will be able to do it maybe once but it's highly highly unlikely that as a system you will be able to do it but what i had just suggested is a system that you could consider building now extending this argument to something like small cap right now let me just show you small cap mid cap main aapko mid cap dikha deta hu because the data is more clear there so here you will see ki yaar ekdam se na bahut zyada growth hui hai right so for example here you will see that there has been a massive growth from march of 2023 to now so almost 60% gains have come now of course you will say ki yaar ye to bahut hi zyada growth ho gayi right and i should cut my position so see this is called as short term perspective on the market because we have just seen the last 6 months right now let me show you another chart right so here you will see that from covid times right which is a slightly mid term view because anything around 3 years could be considered as a mid term view here the mid cap index has gone up by almost 3x so isme bhi bahut growth ho gayi yaar but if you consider the long term view so long term would be if we can target somewhere around 5 6 years so if you consider this right so for example those are 18 se if we consider how much has the mid cap index given well it has only given 111% on an average the growth rate of nifty 50 or nifty which is the big or large caps that is around 12% right and small mid cap ka almost 2x hota hai right so 24% ke hisab se kagering honi chahiye now what is it the point that i am trying to make i am trying to make a very simple point that see if you are a long term investor in equities and if you want to hold something like small mid caps it makes sense to stay invested am i pulling my money out of small mid caps absolutely not not even little bit why because i see a lot of small mid cap companies becoming large caps i am betting on small companies also i am betting through index also maine bahut acche level pe kharida tha so i have made like very good returns on small mid caps whatever portfolio i have i am going to continue to hold it why because my horizon is long now if you are of the view hum to bhai chota chota game khelenge 6 6 months wala so it might make sense for you to sell your stock 
stocks. Now, if you are in that mid-term category, you will say that, okay, the market looks overvalued. So I will cut my position. So then also it makes sense. So it really depends on your horizon. This is a point that many people miss. Because see, what can happen is that, see, if agar you know, long-term money is coming small cap, mein, then wo, you know, it's unlikely that it will correct too much. Of course, there is a lot of volatility. 20-25% to kabhi correct kar sakta hai. No doubt about that. The final point here is that you must have an investment system. Now, investment system comes from the fact, and let me help you understand it by using a very simple example. So let's say that you have 10 lakh rupee right now in the market and the market corrects by 20%. Now, what will be the portfolio? The portfolio will be 8 lakh, right? Now, some people here will panic. Kya 20% correction ho gaya, ab kya kare, ab kya kare, right? I mean, loot gaya, barbaad ho gaya and whatnot. So that's a problem, right? And they will be scared. Now, what is the strategy that you will follow if there is a 20% correction? This is called as building an opportunity fund. Now, this is something that I'm teaching in my member community also. I build different strategies along it. The overarching principle there is very simple. That see, if your portfolio has fallen from 10 lakh rupees to 8 lakh rupees, then how much of a cushion or kitty you should build so that the math adds up that instead of making 20% losses, you will just end up making like maybe like 10% loss. Wo loss targeting aap karke chaloge. And you will be able to mark to market, so to say, the entire market. And that way you will have a strategy in place. Now, these are all highly advanced concepts. So there is no point in me making this video hyper complicated by talking about all this stuff. Maybe I'll make a separate video. But I hope that you got the overarching principle. And in order to execute these type of strategies, you must have very good clarity about your investing style, your investment principles. What are the areas you will pick? not pick, how you are going to manage your cash flows. People just think, you know what, stock market is a money making game, so to say, yet it's a brilliant money making game. As long as you have your mindset sorted and as long as you have your investment system built. So building that investment system is critical. So definitely focus on that. So now comes the final and the third question as to how much should you sell? See, again, I hope that by understanding question one and question two, you got the answer that there is no right answer here that as to how much should you sell. It depends on a lot of things. For example, it depends on what type of reinvestment opportunities you have. You have now money, right? For example, you invested 10 lakhs. Now it has become 15 lakhs, 50% profit, brilliant. You take out that money, then what are you going to do with it, with that entire money? This is called as reinvestment risk. So do you have an investment opportunity in mind? What type of investment opportunity? And therefore, I encourage people to learn about investing across different asset classes. Because if you equity, se paisa nikala, then where are you going to put it? So having that clarity is very important, right? So that's first key point that you must understand. Second is that what are your cash flows like? For example, if you are making crazy amount of cash flows now and you profit book, karke jao, then what's the point, right? I mean, what will you again do with that money? It doesn't make sense. But if let's say hypothetically speaking that you have 10 lakh rupees in the market and you are making a lot more money now and you can easily pour like let's say one one and a half lakh rupees a month now right so does it make any sense to sell your portfolio or even a part of your portfolio now doesn't make sense on the flip side if you are from a segment where what is happening is that you know what i wanted to buy a car therefore i got into the stock market Ho gaya mera paisa pura. market is at an all-time high should you sell it 100 percent yes you should sell it and go away and wait for a better time when the market falls and then you can start with your second goal Ki, yara, mujo, yara, ghumne jana hai. so i will start aggregating money in the market for that particular thing so wait for the market to fall in that respect and then you can pour in money i hope you enjoyed this very candid conversation if you did do subscribe to the channel and like this video and i will see you very soon